Gamers Video 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 Game Sophistry. Your one-stop shop for video games, news, reviews. Oh my god, I just ran in. And time-wasting fun. The seasons and American presidents may shift and change, but one thing is eternal. That's wrestling. WWE 13 is so close we can almost taste it. And just to tease you a little bit more, we're talking with Brian Williams, the lead designer on the game. Thanks, Brian, for taking the time to talk. Andy, it's a pleasure to be on. Thank you so much for having me. So WWE 13, it's available in just a couple of days, inside of a week. Why does everyone need to pick up this year's iteration? Uh, easy, easy, Andy. Uh, in a nutshell, you know, without me boasting too much, uh, mm-hmm. I will go on record. I'm on the record right now, <laughs> saying that this will be the most complete wrestling game that you'll ever you'll ever pick up. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the single player campaign, which is our Attitude Era mode, to uh, WWE Universe mode, which is our you know always evolving, expanding, uh, you know, kind of career mode, to all of our create modes in the game, being able to create your own superstar, create your own arena. Mm-hmm. Uh, create your own championship this year. We brought that back. It's, it's it really is just you know a grab bag of goodness for any wrestling fan out there. Well, speaking of a grab bag of goodness for thirteen, what really attracted you to the Attitude Area in particular this time around? Well, you know, I think uh, the Attitude Era. I mean, if you speak to any wrestling fan or most wrestling fans, I should say, you know, the Attitude Era is just one of those time periods of wrestling that's just looked back. You know, people look back on that time period very fondly. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the rise, scenes rise of Degeneration X, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Mankind. You know, you mention these names and it just evokes this this uh, this passion within the fan base. Uh, I mean, it was a time when, you know, wrestling was very unpredictable. You know, you had WWE doing their thing, WCW Nitro doing theirs on Monday nights. The constantly having to flip back and forth between the channels to, to see who was doing yeah. what. <laughs> It was just a really, really exciting time period for, for all of wrestling, uh, not just within the WWE. And, uh, and I think, you know, the superstars that spawned from this era, just, you know, to this day, they still resonate with people. I mm-hmm. mean, Stone Cold Steve Austin, if he were to come out on an episode of Raw now, he would, you know, just generate such a huge pop and reaction from the crowd. And, uh, and I think for those, you know, you know, younger players who maybe, you know, uh, were, were young during the Attitude Era that kind of only know about the Attitude Era in passing, whether here and there, siblings talk about it or maybe he's seen a reference on Monday Night Raw, yeah. they'll actually get a chance to experience, you know, what we all experienced uh, back in the late nineties for themselves in gameplay form. So it's uh it's just, it's really just it's, it's great edutainment at its finest, mm-hmm. uh, I always like to say, and it's just you know, just you know, harkens back to a time period that, you know, a lot of fans just look back with great fondness. Even on Raw within the last few years, they have been within the program hearkening back to the Attitude Area a little bit with the resurgence of certain elements in that way. So it does feel as if people who perhaps may not have lived during, or they obviously lived, but people who may not have been wrestling yeah. at the time uh, when Attitude Area was really, really hitting its stride, I think still they must know something about it if they watch wrestling right now. Exactly. I, I, I think I think uh, the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and again, I just, you know, just thinking back on Attitude Area, I mean, it was just such an unpredictable time period. You could, honestly, you never knew what was going to happen from one week to the next. And, uh, and all that's conveyed in our single-player campaign this year, in Attitude Era mode. Even though, you know, I, I, I play the mode myself, and I, I remember a lot of the, these things that, um, that we're, you know, having players, you know, witness and go mm-hmm. through on their own in a gameplay form. But it's just such a blast from the past of being able to, uh, to sit back and remember, you know, when, when I was back in, like, 1998, me and my roommates in college getting mm-hmm. together and watching Monday Night Raw and the pay-per-views and seeing what was going to happen with Stone Cold and Vince McMahon. And, uh, you know, seeing that captured in gameplay form is uh, it's just really something else. I think uh, any fan of the current-day WWE or who were a fan, if they were a fan of the WWE back in the Attitude Era, I mean, this is definitely a game to pick up uh, for that nostalgia fix, as well as just great gameplay. I yeah. mean, outside of the single-player campaign, I mean, the game this year is just that much more refined and polished, much more so than it was uh, in last year's game. And last year's game was a good game, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but we've made some giant strides uh, for WWE 13 this year. I mean, we're all very proud of what we've done here. Yeah, in terms that you talked about a little bit there, but in terms of the gameplay, what are some of those big strides you've made in 13 that make it feel like a complete game, not just an expansion pack of last year's? Um, well, you know, first and foremost, you know, our game is very animation heavy. Mm-hmm. I mean, like any wrestling game is. And uh, we've done a lot this year to uh, improve our animation blending so that, you know, uh, the motions from one action to the next flows together a lot more seamlessly than it did in the past. Uh, just create a really fluid gameplay experience where you mm-hmm. don't feel kind of stifled where you're going from one action to the next in a kind of 
stutter stop style. Yeah. Uh, the gameplay is just buttery smooth this year, and we've added a lot of cool new features uh, to gameplay as well. Uh, one of them being the, what we call spectacular moments or OMG moments. Mm-hmm. And these are some of the, the bigger, larger than life, you know, uh, events that will sometimes occur in the WWE. They don't occur often, mm-hmm. but when they do, they, they, guarantee, they definitely leave a lasting impression. Uh, for example, you know, uh, being able to collapse the rain, a la Big Show and Mark Henry uh, at their mm-hmm. pay-per-view bout of vengeance uh, last year. Uh, being able to catch an, a, a mid-air opponent and hit him with your finishing move, uh, like Randy Orton did to Evan Bourne that one episode of Raw when Evan went for a shooting star splash, mm-hmm. and Randy jumped up, caught him with his RKO finisher. You know, these really exciting moments you'll be able to uh, to replicate in gameplay this year. And it's, I mean, and like I said, you know, it, you probably won't see them every match, but when you do, they'll definitely leave a lasting impression. What t- you talked about it earlier in the interview, but what different game modes can we expect this year? And for you, what is your favorite mode to play? Because it's classic of any WWE game. There's a lot of different ways you can play. What's your favorite, and what are some of the uh, the new ones that are available? Well, you know, Universe Mode uh, has been in the game for the past couple years now. And, uh, you know, of course, it's in WWE 13, bigger and badder than ever. Uh, we've made a ton of improvements and refinements to, to the Universe Mode. Uh, chief among them being the ability for players to basically set up and create their very own calendar. Like their players will be able to uh, create a different show on every day of the week if they so choose, or pepper you know some of their own original shows uh, nestled in with the actual shows from WWE. So you can have an episode of Raw on a Monday, you know some created show that you come up with on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even create a pay-per-view on a Sunday if there aren't any pay-per-views there. And even if there are pay-per-views on a Sunday that you'd like to create, you can delete that one and create a new, one, create one of your own. It's really just giving players a kind of blank canvas and letting them, you know, uh, kind of create their own stories and their own, uh, you know, uh, rankings and, mm-hmm. and 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 just little nuances that all the wrestling fans, you know, come to expect from our titles every year. Uh, Universe mode is definitely like that mix between our past GM mode mm-hmm. and like a career mode. Uh, you know, just giving players all these different tools at their disposal and letting them kind of create and tailor make the universe to how they see fit. So I mean, player, I, I can I can foresee players spending a lot of time in universe because mm-hmm. there's so much content in there. But for me personally, mm-hmm. uh, I am I'm, I'm an exhibition mode junkie. Like yeah. I just like to get in and play some matches. Uh, I'm really probably the one match I've been playing the most of this year is our new I Quit match. Okay, it's uh, it's it's my favorite new addition to the game this year as far as matches go. We've also got the special referee match, which is, which is also fantastic. Mm-hmm. But for me, I just love the I Quit match. I love, you know, how, how simple it is. I mean, it's, it's such a simple concept. You know, you just got to pummel your opponent to the point where they say yeah. the word I quit. There's something very elegant in the, in the brutality of that stipulation. Something very it's, visceral, think, very, very wrestling at its core, I think, with those in our matches. It is. Yeah. It totally is. And it's a, it's a really fun experience. And uh, and I actually like I quit matches in you know in real life mm-hmm. as well, so it's great for me to be able to kind of tackle that match site and get that implemented in the game this year. I think, and I, and I hope you know players uh, enjoy it just as much as I do. The matches that last an hour and a half when you're watching them on Raw and this type of thing. <laughs> and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you what, they last pretty long in the game too. That's one thing I was pretty adamant about. I didn't mm-hmm. want an I quit match to last about three minutes. Yeah. You know when you when you go into an I quit match, get ready for a a knockdown dragon mouth fight because that's what mm-hmm. you're gonna get. Now, WWE has literally hundreds of eclectic wrestling personas that have graced their stage in the last several years. What new League of Wrestlers are you bringing into WWE 13 that haven't appeared in previous games? Oh, we got a few, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys that are you know high up on the, uh, on the card as well as some of those guys that are in the middle of the pack. Uh, we've got you know Jinder Mahal is one of those guys, one of the members of, of the three-man band with uh, mm-hmm. Heath Slater <laughs> and Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Uh, Drew McIntyre is also in the game. He's a he's DLC. It's not the first time he's been in the game before, yeah. though. Uh, who else do we have? We've got, of course, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Ryback. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, a, he's a monster that WWE seems to be pushing right now. I'm actually looking forward to his match with CM Punk at the upcoming Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. There we go. <laughs> play, yeah, yeah. Players will be able to uh, to play with Ryback for the first time. Uh, who else? Let me see. Uh, oh. So, man, I mean, we got a whole bunch of attitude era superstars that haven't been in the game for, for years. Mm-hmm. It's nice just seeing guys like Ken Shamrock, X Pac, Big Boss Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, of course, you know, Mankind, he's, 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 he's always been in our games pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but having Mankind and Cactus Jack mm-hmm. uh, is great to have, and Do Love, even. 
uh, and just, you know, just uh, it's, it's a lot of characters. I mean, it's, it's yeah. hard to keep track of every single one. AJ, oh, who yeah. doesn't love AJ? <laughs> you know, she's, she's, actually, she's actually one of our DLC members as well, as well as Damian Sandow. Okay. He's making quite a name for himself mm-hmm. recently. Yeah. So. Uh, quite a quite a few uh, new uh, new faces to the game this year, and still a lot of reimagining of the Attitude Area wrestlers, I imagine. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. I mean, I mentioned some guys already, but you know, guys like Val Venus. Uh, you know, we've got you know old Attitude Era versions of the Undertaker, mm-hmm. Attitude Era versions of Kane. Uh, you know, we've got a uh, Billy Gunn in the game, uh, Road Dog. Just a ton of cool uh, superstars. I mean, you can have, you can set up some of the best dream matches mm-hmm. ever in WWE 13. That seems, for me, exhibition style, that's why I really, really love it. Because not only is it the sort of matches you want, but it is, like you said, setting up the matches of uh, the past that you loved and adding in like a special referee that wouldn't have been there in the actual thing. And it plays, at least in the previous games, it plays so authentic. That's what I really like about it. Now, I'm just asking you right now, for WWE 13, that level of authenticity, what have you done to maintain that, to make sure it still feels so much like wrestling? Well, you know, that's, you know, definitely uh, one of the most important things mm-hmm. to us each and every year when we, you know, uh, present these games to, to all the fans out there is to remain true to what the WWE is and does. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether that's a small, you know, graphic that you might see when you watch uh, Monday Night Raw, where they've got the hashtag Raw yeah. in the upper right corner or upper left corner. You know, small details like that we like to mimic, you know, to, a, to, to the hilt. Uh, making, you know, we like to make sure we get all the right, uh, you know, on-screen graphics just as they are mm-hmm. on programming. And with us, you know, doing this Attitude Era uh, single-player campaign, I mean, the onus was really on us to make sure that we got not only the, the old-school arenas, and I mean, we, which we have a ton of. Like we've mm-hmm. got, you know, the Raw's War set from 1997, from 1998. Wow. And everything within those arenas has been meticulously recreated from, you know, having the barricades surrounding the ring, the, the steel barricades, not the current, you know, padded type that they have now, <laughs> yeah. to the, uh, to the, I mean, the crowd members themselves. You know, you'll see the crowd members look differently. Like they've got the, uh, they're wearing the, the, the uh, Attitude Era style T-shirts. And, wow. And all the, the nameplates and everything have just been meticulously recreated. Because uh, that was one thing that I mean, definitely fans would call foul if you know, we yep. told them we were presenting this kind of retrospective on the Attitude Era, but got the, the, the small things wrong. Mm-hmm. The small things are what really make the overall picture that much uh, complete. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait. Sounds so exciting. One of the things that I notice a lot of players like to do and make these weird sort of creations is the custom ability within these games creation modes not only oh, to yeah. make wrestlers to make you know everything associated with their wrestlers the entrances even the uh, the stages and the different rings yeah. that they're in what have you done this time to even amp that up all right well for creative superstar i mean you're right that's uh mm-hmm. outside of gameplay that creative superstar is probably the most popular mm-hmm mode in the game because like you mentioned you know players i mean we were the w13 roster is loaded i think it's probably the the best roster we've had since uh, smack and here comes the pain mm-hmm. but i guarantee oh. you that's not going to stop players from yeah. going in and creating guys that weren't in the game or their own original creations mm-hmm. so uh every year with credit superstar we add you know a ton of new parts which we've done this year uh, we've added some we brought back some old functionality that players have want us to, to, to bring back into the game such as transparency options for for logos and decals and for uh, tattoos, wow. to be able to uh, you know increase the uh, the radiancy with those to make them kind of fade in and fade out. Um, we've brought back the the uh, the full color wheel for skin tones. Mm-hmm. In previous games, we kind of just offered realistic based skin tones, which we thought was would be good enough for a game where say, hey, it's a wrestling game. But yeah. our fans, they really kind of got up in arms. And they, <laughs> they want demons, yeah, that's sort of thing. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> They had a hard time creating uh, some other characters because of the lack of colors. So mm-hmm. we brought that back, and we even brought we added a new feature to uh, create a superstar, uh, whereby players would be able to to customize and create their very own kind of uh, boot and kick pad combination. Okay. Uh, yeah, in the past games, uh, kick pads and boots were all one part that players had to basically mm-hmm. select. It was like a one and done deal. But now in this year's game, players will be able to select a a boot, a tennis shoe, or go barefoot. And then on top of that, apply a different style of kick pad to that boot or shoe mm-hmm. uh, to kind of just add a little bit more personality to the characters, that, the characters that they're trying to create. And of course, you know, being able to apply uh, logos and decals and patterns to the kick pads just only opens up the, uh, the amount mm-hmm. of options at, at players' disposal. And in terms of the animations, because players have the opportunity to create 
some very odd looking sort of creatures essentially has the yeah, anim- like yeah, exactly. <laughs> what have you done to make sure that the animations, which is again, like you said, the kind of cornerstone for any of these games, that they're still fluid, they still seem as natural as if you were playing as Stone Cold? Yeah, well, the good thing about this is that you know all the time and energy that we put into uh, our navigation, our you know moves, all of that gets you know filtered into uh, the credit characters. You know, okay. we don't stop just with the default WWE superstars. Uh, all the characters in the game, or superstars, I should say, in the game, whether they're the default WWE guys and gals, or they're somebody that you created yourself, mm-hmm. we all share the same animations within the same pool. So, you know, uh, your custom-made superstars, divas, will, will animate, you know, just as fluidly as the, uh, you know, the Triple H's and the John Cena's and the Cena Excellent, Punk's yeah. in the game. Very, very good. In terms of multiplayer, the other big component everyone loves, how have you adapted oh, yeah. it to seem even more sort of realistic, because I found in the past, oftentimes, we talked about this earlier, exploits and the quote-unquote cheap combos would ruin a lot of the games for me. What have you done to stop that this time around? Yeah, well, luckily, you know, thanks with, you know, to the help of the community, because they're great at, uh, at letting us know about exploits or, you know, uh, cheap spam moves, uh, whether it's, you know, they communicate this information through Twitter, through mm-hmm. message boards, you know, uh, our community uh, manager sees to it that we get this information. So we've actually done a really good job this year, I think, a very thorough job of cleaning up a lot of the exploits that uh, that propped up or cropped up in WB12, as well as you know even games you know older than that that had still maintained or were still in the game. So uh, we've done a really good job of uh, getting rid of all those exploits, um, and you know it's something that you know we're going to continue to do. I mean, obviously, you know we think we have a good handle on it for 13, but we'll see once the game gets out there and you know, the players you know get put their hands on it, we'll see uh, how they respond to it. But we feel really confident that we've uh, we've nailed the biggest offenders. Because you're right. I mean, yeah. when you get online or you're playing, you know, a buddy and you find you happen upon some cheap exploit, it really does ruin the, mm-hmm. the entire experience for you. Uh, and I can say, you know, thus far, you know, no, nothing of of the sort has uh, has cropped up thus far. And if it has, we've been able to uh, to fix it through our debugging process. That's that's excellent. Very very good to hear. Within multiplayer, well, multiplayer is very important. Yeah. 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 What are some of the new features? Important. Are you are there any new features added within multiplayer? Uh, just, you know, uh, you know, with the, the, the new match types that we've added, mm-hmm. of course, special referee, the, uh, the I quit match. More of the same, the more of the great stuff we love sort of thing. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. But, you know, the special referee is fun to play, you know, with the, uh, the AI controlling the, the special ref. Mm-hmm. But I tell you what, you get, you know, three friends together and you have one of your buddies controlling the, the referee. Yeah. And, <laughs> I've had quite a few uh, entertaining matches in the office here with uh, with myself acting as a special ref. <laughs> I kind of let the power go to my head. Yeah. <laughs> Final question for you, my friends. Why come October 30th, the gamers have to include WWE 13 in their collection? Because WWE 13, Andy, I got to tell you, brother, it's the end all and be all of wrestling games, at least for this year. I mean, we'll see what happens in the future. Mm-hmm. But I can say right now that, you know, WWE 13 blows WWE 12 out of the freaking ocean all right it really does i mean from the single player campaign to attitude era mode to universe mode to the you know the new i quit i you know special referee matches the uh the incredible roster that we've got we had that we have this year uh coupling all that up with all of our dlc that we'll be offering uh the, you know the fans uh once the game is released you know i mean you really can't find there, there, there's not a better wrestling game out there and not just because we're the only one. <laughs> well, there you go. Right from the horse's mouth. Literally the best wrestling game you will ever play. If you've ever seen a wrestling, ever, an episode of wrestling, if you've ever seen a logo for wrestling, got to pick up this game. Come October 30th, uh, what consoles are WWE available for? Yeah, WWE 13 is going to be available for the Xbox 360, uh, PS3, and the Nintendo Wii console. Okay, so they're all coming out. Thanks again, Brian. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time to talk. Love chatting about WWE. Oh, no, the pleasure's all mine. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Now make sure you pick it up just in a couple of days. I'm Andy Burkowski for Video Game Sophistry. Head to www.puresophistry.com for more.